As you'll see, Chewy will not come out of the kennel at all. And this was a big problem for volunteers. In fact, if you put your hand in, he would just try to bite, which is why I'm wearing these gauntlet gloves. And I was able to chase him out of there. And then I grabbed the treats back that I used in the crate originally to try to get him out. I just settled in here and just kind of ignored him for a little while, let him decompress. After a little while, I sat next to him. We changed camera angle so you can see a little bit better from here. And I just sprinkled treats on the floor and left them there. You can see he's completely shaking. He's freaked out. He's nervous. And if I put my hand there, you'll see that he, he just gets a little bit more nervous even. And I'm just putting it there for a little sight stimulation to see what he's going to do. And he actually calms down a little bit after a while and sits down. You can see he's still nervous. I'll come a little bit closer to him. And again, everything I'm going to do here is going to be based around rewards. So no matter what he does, he's going to see that I'm not going to buy into his, his game. Where he's afraid, I'm not going to give him anything to be afraid of. So even if he tries to bite me, which you'll see in a few minutes, I don't punish him for it. I just show him that the hand that's there is not there to punish him or to hurt him. Even if he does bite it. It's a very different approach with a fearful dog than with a, a dominant dog. This dog doesn't need to learn any lessons of dominance or anything like that. The dog needs to learn that nothing's gonna hurt him. So watch here, you'll see he's starting to snarl a little bit. Now I have food in my hand, so if he goes to bite, all he's gonna get is a, a mouthful of food, which is a technique I use to show the dog that what you're trying to bite is not trying to hurt you. It's actually gonna bring you a reward, which counter conditions what the dog believes is a negative. So here, the treat's still in front of him. I'm not moving it. Until now, I take it back, bring it forward again. This is very hard to do. You have people watching, you have people talking to the dog from the outside. I don't talk to the dog during this entire phase. I think this is a very strong negative. You'll see that as these people come by, the dog starts to get more, see the leg came up, the dog gets more nervous with people around, with that energy. This should be done completely quietly, Dog should be completely relaxed, and I should be completely relaxed. And I see the dog's laying down more. The more the dog goes into a submissive place, the more comfortable the dog is. So here again, I'm pushing the treats forward. Every movement has something positive happening. See, now we've got children in the background. So this all spooks the dog, but I'm not gonna get into a discussion. So here, the dog actually picked up a piece of food for the first time and not eating it yet in here for the first time. This is the first time the dog has eaten and we're about a good 10-15 minutes in. I, I edited the video for time sakes. Now since he took the food, I'm going to now put the food on my hand. So the food goes from being on the floor, which is very neutral with my presence there, which is somewhat pressuring, and now I'm putting the food on my hand. So. He's very nervous. You can see even the way he's swallowing food, he's having a harder time with it. But there, that's the first time that a hand was near him where he actually felt, see, he's feeling that the pressure is off, the pressure is gone. Here, he's standing up now, but much more confident. His left foot is on the ground. And he's actually moving forward. And here, as he's moving more and more forward, we're doing a couple edits here, but you're seeing that the dog is moving forward away from that corner and towards me. So he's moving towards what, we, what he was afraid of originally. Now what I try to do is take the food and bring him closer to me, like luring him in, showing that this is a reward, this is all positive. But again, there's no pressure. There's no tr chance of me touching him or grabbing him or anything like that. Doing anything like that too fast really runs a risk of the dog regressing and then not trusting. This has to be about building the dog's trust. Here he's free to go back in that corner, but there's no more food in that corner and he tends to like this food. So you have to find food the dog likes. You might have to withhold a meal or so to get the dog to understand that this is about positive interaction. He's going to do something, he's going to get something. And the fact that he's actually following the food shows he's making a conscious decision to, to move out of his scared zone into another zone and now it's the first time he ate something off of my leg so he's getting more and more into my circle of, of energy 
and he's closer and closer and dogs pick up on this this is a huge thing dogs respond to um, energy and and body language so we already know that he feels that I'm confident that I've got nothing you know no intentions of hurting him or anything and now I've got the glove off on my right hand just showing him what a what a what a hand is going to smell like now because every time in the past when he saw a hand he bit it um, and and that's something we want to counter condition the hand is going to smell very different look very different than the glove so I want him to see both and in this phase which is phase one he's now taking food from my hand without biting me where he was trying to bite the glove before so now he's putting paws up on me it's a huge 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 step and this is about I'd say about 20 minutes or so 15 minutes into this phase of, of the of the interaction and again if he wants to go away cool I'm not gonna pressure him to stay with me he's afraid and I want to build confidence here but every time he comes close there's a reward and the reward is these treats and this is a really huge transformation that he actually puts his legs up he's crawling on me he's taking food from my hand and notice how tiny the treats are the reason they're that small is one to keep him engaged and two to keep him from filling up especially a really small dog like this so he's got two legs up on me he's eating off of me he's seeing my hand and I'm seeing movement as well so the hand is moving and and all these different phases are going to teach him that this is a positive interaction and notice that when he goes next to me I just kind of ignore him and bring the food back and again you'll see that every time somebody goes to that kennel and, and starts talking to him that's where we start to lose the dog that's where the dog gets nervous again because talking to the dog which is something I didn't do at any phase in part one or two takes away the suspicion from the dog this is not about talking to the dog making it okay this is about teaching the dog my my body language and my body movement that everything's fine he's totally safe and I'm not going to do anything too crazy, like go to reach for him, pet him, or anything like that. Not yet. We'll do that in phase two.